Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and thank you for joining me back here in Old World Blues playing as Nevada. Right now, I've just gotten to go to war with the Legion, of course, Kaisar's Legion, because, well, unfortunately, eventually, a certain nation will also try to go to war with us called the Dark Brotherhood, which they're marching south, so in about 109 days, we're going to be at war with them as well, even though, uh, they're still at war with the Troll Warren, which they seem to be doing okay, actually, how much more manpower do they have? They have 48, the Troll Warren have about 1,000, 62 divisions versus 81, that's not bad, I, I actually... Just emergency, the well, had an emergency deployment of extra soldiers. We got some comms to go through, some things to address, and uh, let's see if we can just go on ahead. I just want to make sure we can beat up the uh, the legions as fast as possible. Two sons, of course. Uh, we're doing okay. Reservation, of course. Uh, I thought they were fighting. Yeah, Dinta, Dinata, something like that. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce their name, but good, 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 good. Let the infantry stroll on by while we're getting ready to go to war with the good old. Washington Brotherhood. For some reason, I forgot the name. Hey, look, these guys have been cut off. Now that's very nice. Very, very, very nice. Kill them off, please. We now have Hoover Dam once again. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Liberation of Salt Lake City. This is uh, Enclave Radio. Bringing you the latest news from the front. Yesterday, the, the United States drove Kaiser and his tribal lackeys from Salt Lake City, known as someone's new kingdom. To a great surprise, during the fighting, soldiers found the golden statue of the angel Moroni. Thought lost since the Great War. To the many of Deseret. This is a sign from God that America is back. And so people in darkness have seen a great light in the Lonesome Road. The Legion poured west into the reunited states. Packed by Brotherhood diehards, enclave defectors, and raiders, all and all who stand against the American dream. Granite could deploy nuclear weapons, but there are those in his cabinet in Congress are mindful that thousands of American civilians live in the lands of the Legion. Slaves who pray for better days and have no say in the war. They will perish in nuclear heckfire along with the soldiers of Kaiser. Congress will not let the president strike unless things get worse. Um... I really want the nuke. I just want the nuke just so we can just, uh, like, not disable, but, like, deter any foreign aggressors, if there are any. Like, I don't want to nuke American citizens, of course, but, like, we're just going to just... Eh, I don't want to dismantle it. Dismantle the nuclear weapons, for we cannot reach out to fellow Americans with nuclear arms. I mean, we can nuke Mexico. Like, why would we want to... I mean, I, I, I just want to save it with the Chinese. I'm not going to I'm not gonna nuke Flagstaff. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to do that, but... I don't like that. I, I want the option to save it just in case. I mean, obviously, it's, like, in the Fallout universe... No one's going to come attack us, but the Enclave don't know that. Kaiser's atrocities. Kaiser is a nasty son of a gun, and as we push each, his men have responded with increasing guerrilla attacks on our supply lines and atrocities to demoralize our men recently. They somehow crucified 13 men on Hoover Dam, declaring that they left their bodies facing west to watch our world die. What's wrong with them? Oh boy. Uh, the real atrocities of Kaiser's speeches. Guerrillas, less supply consumption. Um, yeah, make sure they don't get any more attack and stuff like that, so... The Liberation of Hoover Dam, this is Enclave Radio, bringing you the latest news from the front. Our boys in black have driven the Legion from Hoover Dam, made by survivors from Navarro, who hid in the Mojave. And our flamers are burning Praetorians out of their nests, even as we speak. An American flag has been draped over the side of the dam, and soon his power will serve you, dear listeners. And a special thanks to that courier who rallied local partisans to our aid. That's not how we saw the New, English, New Vegas ending. And Area 51. With Area 51 under our control, Enclave scientists are sifting through the reams, uh, reams, reams of pre-war data. It appears that pre-war United States was monitored by vast intellectuals, cool and unsympathetic, and their technology was studied by the military. We can pick this research up, but there may be some consequences. Let us press every button we can find. Nice. Yeah, it's actually really awesome. Really, really awesome. Hope we can do pretty darn well. They have a, a lot of divisions, and we have 120. And how much... We've done 7,800 casualties. I mean, they got they have a lot of manpower. Don't get me wrong. They have a lot of manpower. Uh, 147,000, so. It is what it is. We just gotta move as fast as humanly possible. Go, boys, go. Uh, let's see. Someone recommends I play out, or it was one of the comments from yesterday was I should play as Red Flood Turkey. I don't know if they have a unique focus tree right now. If they do, that'd be really cool. And maybe I'll try them out sometime. Actually, you know what? Both of you guys come here. There we go. Let's do that. And we're gonna push as hard and as fast as possible. I guess... Well, this legion's gone. All right then. Well, whatever. Yep. Yeah, the infantry is doing okay. The hub. Well, we, we already went to war with them, so I'm not sure we can do anything about that right now. But whatever. Uh, you guys, one, two, three, huh? One, two, three. Oh, well, actually, yeah, we'll be fine doing it like this for now. There you go. One. Well, I like a solid front defensive line, so that's kind of okay with me. There you go. We could hire someone else, I suppose. Yeah, I guess. John Heath. Or John Heth. Thank you. I'm still going to go inspirational, though. Still going to go inspirational. And we're currently still finishing up the establishing just a system. This war, hopefully, doesn't look honestly that bad. So, we'll see what happens. We'll talk about this in just a little bit as well. 
uh, a justice system. We have 100% legitimacy, which is very, very nice. And the Constitution of Nevada, we could do that. Battleborn would be very good as well, but... Mm, Rubcon facilities. Rocket Engineering and Production Company of Nevada specialize in helping the pre-war United States to reach to the stars. Although their dreams fell short with most of the rockets landing in China, perhaps we can find something useful in the facilities. Cool. Oh, why'd you go to war with those guys too, man? Can't really afford that war right now. Alright, so at this point, you're kind of all together. Which, actually, I'm kind of okay with. So, one, two, three. Come here. You're all going to be... Oh, oh, hold on. Oh, never mind. One, two, three. You guys can hear. Nah, that's all right. That's what we want to see. The entire line working together to destroy Kaisar's... Well, supply lines and just lines in general. Front lines. Um, they have up to 115 divisions now. As long as we keep moving into them, they're going to keep losing divisions. So, so supping with the devil. Against all laws, Nevada's forces have turned the tide against the Legion of Martial Liberty that people held in bondage. But Santa Anna is no fool, and he knows he cannot face the power of the reunited states. He has offered to support the Legion's war efforts, providing men and material to bolster the Legion's forces. Although Mighty Kaiser has nothing but contempt for a robot army. Lannis' is counsel, and that's better that it's better to lose a neighbor's robot than your own soldiers, prevails. Once more, the general marches north to snuff out the cause of freedom. We beat him once before, we'll do it again. He was one. Good morning, this is Enclave Radio, uh, bringing you news from Helios 1. As the sun rises over the pre-war plant, or solar plant, reflecting out the solar panels, one can see how much progress the president has brought. Gone to the Brotherhood Knights, stripping it for parts, or the NCR's engineers stumbling in the dark. Enclave scientists work proudly to restore power to the waste, and the sun rises over a new day for America. Nice. We have the plan, and we have the power. And I, I didn't think that Santa was still alive, and I was correct in that assumption. Very nice. <clears throat> Help him out, guys. How's air superiority? It is looking... Delicious. How are we looking over here? I've completely ignored the side, which is not very good to do, so. Um, you guys are fine. There you go. One solid line. Thank you. Thank you. Another comment was, uh, let's see. <laughs> Someone said I should accept Super Mutant to get Frank Hur again. Yeah, maybe next time. Let's see. Also, really, overall, like this, like, I've played, as, as I've said before, and some of you guys know this as well. I've played Home is a Nevada Path before, so I'm trying different things. Something's just, it's just slightly different from how I played it last time. Last time I set up states as I was going around. This time we're just going to make all of them. Everything's Nevada. Everything's Nevada. Oh, wow, that's a lot of divisions over there. Holy cow. Everything's Nevada except until the end. Oh, yeah, don't move. Don't move, guys. Do not move. Uh, actually, for you guys, I might just recommend you guys just stay here. Just hang out. Have a good time. Hold. Don't leave. Oh, God, that's not good. Um, maybe you have to retreat. That's totally fine as well. Totally, totally, totally fine. Iron Lance is going to be a huge pain in the butt, but the Midwest, West, Midwestern Brotherhood aids the Legion. Dreadful news, perhaps due to the threat posed by the powerful and fearsome Chicago Enclave, the Midwestern Brothers dispatch aid to Kaisar. These paladins will be willing to fight and die for the Legion to stop the reunited states from linking up with their boys in Chicago. We only assume they're also reformers. We'll deal with those guys one day. You jerks. Also, someone did say, like, the reason the Sarles got it, basically, they went to war with us just because they have a holy... Uh, what do you call it? A holy war focus... That I, I knew about, and I slightly forgot from yesterday's video, like... Oh, fa fall flags are very good. How many... How did the Legion have this many slaves? But, uh, yeah, that Holy War focus allows them to randomly declare war on two people, which... I kind of get by the same time I don't like. It should be set to be random, maybe, at the beginning of the campaign. So, like, oh, you, so at least the enemy who gets declared war upon will have some sort of idea. I mean... I kind of like that more, but, you know, whatever, I guess. I, I knew th I knew they did their Holy War thing. You know, the states need to have that, but it just, it's just incredibly annoying having that. I kind of wish it would get reworked. Institute an Emergency Draft. Pre-war America made all Americans register for potential military service, although we're obviously not going to conscript everybody in the nation. It can't hurt to track everyone who we might want in the army. Come fly with me. <clears throat> The courier we were dispatched to investigate the Rubcon facilities brought some good news and bad news. The good news is there are some operable rockets there. The bad news is that there is a cult of ghouls who occupy the facility and dream to use some of the rockets to escape this battered old world. What do you want to do? We'll aid you on your journey, Astromen. That's the perfect part where you shoot them. I guess we can leave them be. On the journey, my friends. On the journey. Archdornin. I always get Archdornin. Depends it online, great. Felix Grayson, flag south liberated. Vertebrates sweep over uh, overhead as Enclave soldiers trample the Legion's banners. The city's uh, slaves wait to learn whether they found freedom or a new master, but the president can be proud to know that for the first time in 200 years, the Stars and Stripes flies over Arizona. Six Emperor Tyrannus, nice. Uh, let's see, I don't know if we actually have to choose that guy. I do want to do the Pentagon Reborn, I should have done that one a little bit earlier, but that's fine, whatever. How many divisions do they have, actually? They have less than 100 now. We're doing extremely well. Now, obviously, the guys up north are probably going to go to war with us sometime soon, but let's go and deploy these guys immediately. 
And keep training. Keep training, 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 training. You over here? Yeah, John Heth. Come over here. Anyways, that's fine. Just in case. You never know. Because these guys are really just stalling out, which is actually really nice to see. Really, 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 really nice. Focusing arrays are very good. Energy weapons a little bit ahead of time for us. Let's go ahead and grab some other things. Ooh, actually, Xeon fighters would be really nice. This would actually help us out, too. Why not? Anything else over here? No. West Coast section. Oh, breach facility. We'll do that one in a little bit once we're done with this war. That's not good. And Spanish folk Omri, because we can. Ah, yes. That's a lot of divisions down there. Our guys will be suffering, um, trying their best to beat up the enemies. But we'll see what happens. Expert health fighters. Thank you. And actually, come back over there. Chris Hamilton. Uh, awareness. That would be good. And then you, Stephen Reynolds, mostly only using infantry here. Mystery Stranger, so we are attack a little bit harder. Gunslinger, no, 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 no. Let's go rooted just in case for entrenchment. And that's good. Let's go ninja. Let's try something a slightly different for someone else this time. Power, and we're still doing a great job, I'd say. Ninety. Oh, oh man, we've been really pushed down here, haven't we? That's really not good. Um. You guys actually can push out here. You guys actually can do that. That's fine. They are coming back, which is not good, but at the same time, we should do okay. Oh, well, it would help if I give you orders and instructions. There you go. Go. I would like to force the attack here, but I don't think we really can, which sucks. I need you guys to keep moving up. I'm sure they got plenty of supplies, though, still. Naval production, 95 divisions. Less, they lost 50,000 manpower so far. Um, I'm not really sure. Actually, do we have any... Yeah, you guys here. Yeah. Let's hop out. Okay, game. Nope, can't put him there for some reason. All right, well, well two sun time. Time for some two suns. Uh, go. Okay, that's very weird. I can't deploy them wherever I want. It's very, very odd. Except for Warband. Get more convoys, because we can. There you go. I just hope... I don't want you guys to get encircled. You guys are moving out here, which is actually very good. But you guys are now encircled, too. God dang it. Just in case, we're going to deploy some... Uh, whatever things... We lose a few divisions here and there, whatever. You guys might be able to hold. Come on, power armor. Keep pushing. Oh, wait, you're part of this thing. Which is fine, whatever. Um, let's do reform general staff. Our general staff need to prepare for real wars against the real states. Fortunately, the data banks have plenty of records of the last time Americans fought a real war. Nice. Mm, Volpus. Oh, this is all Volpus's legion. That's not. Wait, this is Volpus's legion. Were we not fighting Kaiser at the beginning of this? I could be wrong about that. I could be very, 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 very wrong. Uh, and there they go. That's why I stopped doing stuff over there. Well, time to go in, I guess. Jesse Allen. Well, good luck, guys. Go in. See what you can do. That is actually a big mistake, and you know. That's kind of okay, then. As long as we can get up there, we'll be okay. Um, I need you guys to keep moving. Get all the way up here so we can get some supplies through there. How strong are the two sons? I've played with them before. They've got quite a bit of manpower. Quite a few divisions, too. Kind of impressive, not going to lie. So we're impressed. Keep going, guys. Keep going. You guys got to force the attack. You got to go, 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 go. I'm very surprised that they actually did want to go to war with us. That's actually a little surprising to me. Alright, any more planes? Oh, yes, baby, yes. Nice. Any more cast, perhaps? Nice. And you'll do stuff down south, too. There you go. Bing, bong, boom. One, two, go right there, go right there, there you go, do the best you can, oh, we did link up here, which is awesome, 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 another cutting, flooding through here, which really sucks, but whatever, um, just keep going, guys, I and mean, there's not much we can do, just keep going, I mean, this is a gigantic mess, holy crap, but it is what it is, you know, our guys should be learning quite a bit, anyone over here, uh, we can, eh, we can still use that. More infantry, go rooted, just in case. And anyone up here? Nope, not yet. That's fine. Actually, you might be able to beat the Washington Brotherhood before anybody else. That'd be kind of weird. But that'd be okay with me. Go in. Yeah, you never know. 
And we're doing Cannibal Kill here too, which is actually pretty nice. You guys are doing fine. You guys are doing relatively okay. I'm sure the Iron Alliance is not too weak. Well, then again, they got a lot of resistance in some of these areas too, so. And three divisions holding out. I mean, they're just draining themselves on the line, which I, which I love. Don't get me wrong. I love that. I love it. Oh, that is not good. Oh, that makes sense why they're doing that, though. That makes a lot of sense. Oh, this is a massive war. I mean, obviously, we could have just instead, like, uh, pair dropped on them. But then again, we might not have enough range. Maybe? Maybe not? I don't know. Um, do that one. There you go. The camp. Thank you. A new generation of officers. Old officer remnants. I'd love to do that one. Uh, officers by merit and skill. Well, it's Nevada. Nevada's kind of new. Um, not in defense court, court territory. A new generation of officers. A new generation of officers has arisen who have hidden throughout the wasteland. They have their own views of how to handle combat, and we'd be foolish to ignore them. It's not looking great for us right now, I'll be honest. It's really not looking that great. We're doing relatively okay. Relatively. Oh, at this point, I actually, I'm going to call you guys down. Come down here. I don't want to get encircled down here. That'd be really incredibly bad. Bing, bong, 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 bing. I mean, overall, these guys will not be able to beat us. There's no way they can. Because we have air superiority, and look at all that. 400-some planes just, just demolishing enemies. It's just moving as fast as we can, covering the lines. Oh. Hello. Oh. Oh, we got, we got, the, we, we got the Legion. Okay. Sure. Why not? Why not? Just like the Pokemon, the Psychic type. Cool. They're done with that. We're done with this side too. Pretty good. Pretty darn nice. Um, anything else over here? Nope. Anything over here? Yes, probably. I'll just grab some of this stuff maybe. Monthly population. Max factories in the state. Permanent increase in coring costs. Uh, let's do this one. Vault healthcare. We like healthcare. Usually. Alright, well, that definitely saved us a little bit. Uh, I would I take both of you guys up here. Go and do that, guys. And you guys are doing great over here, too. How many Washington Brotherhood members have we killed off? Not that many. <laughs> Not that many. Um, sure, guys. Sure. Wait, who else are we fighting? Northern League. Two Sons. Hento del Sol. With everyone else separated now, I mean, that makes it a lot easier. Because with the Legion dead. Now, I was going to complain, maybe, that the Legion was being kind of annoying to take out, but... No, no, not really. Yeah, not really. Wartime draft? Hmm, nah, we're okay. Not bad. That's a lot of divisions here, though. That's a lot of divisions. Holy cow. So who do we have to capitulate on? Sento del Sol, and who else? Two sons, reservation. Alright. Alright, not bad. These guys will die, though. I mean, with this many divisions, especially power armor divisions down here, Ultima will be ours very soon. This will be fine. I, uh, yep, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, Forest Department, awesome. Pushing in. And if that's the case, let's do this too. Now they've got a whole other front to cover too, so that's awesome. And they're just running out of manpower, so... Yeah. Alright, uh, we've got to go along with this, we can groove with this, why not? Well, time to take these guys out now. Let's go guys, let's go, let's go! And don't forget about this one too. There you go. Great! Followed up with the new American army. Look at the march past, we are no longer a few bands hiding in powered armor. We are the American army and of course we are back. Oh, baby, we are back. Give us signal translations, but Henta City. Let's go do some regulation override, yes. Oh, ooh, Army could lose 25 HP. We'll get more stuff to second heart attack. Let's wait for that one. Let's do some Implant 2. Implant 2. Oh, they'll probably need that for every single division we make then. Good, good, good. Why not? Um, There we go. We're a very legitimate government. Very legitimate. We want to go the troll warrant. We want to go a lot of these guys up here. Uh, the Lord's Anointed as well. Actually, I wish we just. Hmm. I don't know if we have that much time. 125 days. That's a long time. You guys are done, actually. No, you're not. Don't lie to us. Can 
Dwemer's been wounded, which is fine, whatever. Keep going, guys. Keep going. You're doing a great job. Antidote City's got it. Well, they're gone. I guess we could help liberate other people's stuff, too, but nah. We'll probably just take everything. And if they want to go to war with us, too, so be it, whatever. I know we can kill them off pretty easily. Go, boys, go. Is that it? We need suicide pills. We need, um, the powder stuff. Field hospitals. Looking pretty good. Even infantry. Normal infantry is doing okay. Do they not capitulate yet? How are they not dead yet? Oh, they're so close. Reservationists, Iron Alliance, you know the ilk. No, no, right here, right here, right here, right here. And we'll go back. We'll go back to war with these guys and kill them off too. Well, we're still at war, but we'll kill them off. Here. I know you're struggling, but struggle even harder. And Hunter Del City is gone. Or Hunter Del Sol. There you go, nice. Awesome. Uh, come back over here. Reservation time. Los Alamos, please. Good luck. Yeah, well, you'll, you'll probably do fine anyways. How are these guys doing? They still have enough manpower. Did they run out of equipment? They might have ran out of equipment. They only have 26 divisions left. Um, they got plenty of robots. Plenty of anti tank. Some dynamite. Mm, maybe a saw or two, maybe? Maybe? Alright, well, we're doing okay. Go a little easier than I thought it would be. Hey, not bad. The new American army is good too. Alright. Oh, we can't do this one. Ah. Officers by merit and skill. What if we chose officers based on merit and skill instead of those who who, who their forefathers were? Hmm. Loyalty and devotion. Eh, I kind of want to do that one, but... Loyalty and devotion. The problem with this one, the only reason, objection I have with this right now is because who their forefathers were. So do we allow... Hmm. You know, we'll do this one. What if we choose officers based on merit and skill... Instead of who their forefathers were. Because we accept Wastelanders, but we don't accept ghouls and mutants and stuff like that. So, hmm. Which I'll address in a little bit once this war is over. So. Oh, basically doubled up this line already. You, well, let's face these guys up, up here first. Little to note to please, thank you. Just keep killing them. Kill, 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 kill. When you're done, kill them harder. Kill them more. Well, they've lost a lot of guys. Not nearly as much as I would have liked. And there goes Capitol Hill, too. So we won against the Russian Union Brotherhood. It's pretty nice. Uh, we'll probably give, mo obviously, most of this to Troll Warren. I'm just going to go and take, like, I don't know. I'll take this little area. Just make it look a little nicer. There you go. I don't want that one. There you oh, and that one, too. And I'll give the rest of the Troll Warren. How much do they want? I'll give him even Port Mall too. Ooh, baby boy, that's ooh, that's a lot of score. That is a lot of score that they need for the Port Mall. How much score do you need for Washington Brotherhood? Way too much. Way, 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 way too much. My apologies for the clicking. And there you go. Oh no, that's a lot easier. There you go. Alright, there you go. Nice. A lot better. Alright, so now I'm gonna save these guys hopefully for that one. You guys come over to there. Do that to there. And then do it right there. You guys should be okay. Obviously, maybe not, but we'll see what happens. Nice. Guys, can you keep going? Please keep going. You guys all go to Los Alamos, Alamos right now. Go ahead. Go ahead. Kill them off. They want to die. If they didn't want to die, they would not be fighting us right now. So, You guys are doing okay over here, too. You guys just keep on going, keep going, 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 going. We gotta get to the new Sterling. So, yeah. That's pretty much all it is. Mm. Oh, did you? Oh my gosh. Seriously. Free Fighters, please do the right thing. Please, love God, let us do it. Just do the right thing. Oh. Nice, we got him. Okay, woof. Los Alamos is gone. Troll War victorious to a great surprise and horror. The Troll War and has triumphed over the Washington Brotherhood is even worse. The students have somehow figured out how to utilize Brotherhood technology. This is one more sign that America know the human race needs the Enclave. Another sign that the Brotherhood's time has passed. Yeah. Let's go, 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 go. Because we have not even taken a single core territory of these guys yet. 
I have only 13 divisions left, which is like nothing, but still. That's the line. Very, very good. Let's grab some uh, songs. Songs, yes. All right, off to former court. That spit and polish, that crisp salute, that ability to launch a pincer into the enemy's positions. Our officers are as good as any West Point turned out. And after this one, we'll do, uh, if we can, Army Reserves. Americans in the Great War rallied to the flag when the nation was under attack, serving as part-time soldiers. They can do so again. Actually, you know what? Don't do it like that. I'm going to send you two out. You guys come here. Get ready to go. Because I need you to come here. Go from this direction. Go from this direction. You guys go from this direction. There you go. That'll work. Alright. Nope. Don't even bother me with that stuff right now. Don't even care. So that stuff is all done. That's nice. Grab some of this stuff because we can. Replicators are nice. You guys are doing okay. Doing okay. Just keep killing, 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 killing. And do you actually have someone here? Uh, I don't care. Take him. We'll hire someone else. Isaac Cheatum? Nice. It's fine. It's fine, whatever. There you go. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Ain't no stopping here. And can we actually go to war with these guys yet? No, but we'll go to war within less than a, about a month. About a month ish. That ain't too shabby. Come on, how many more divisions? How much more manpower do they have? A lot of this is just not cord. Nine divisions left. Alright, that's fine, fine with us. Let Mexico kill itself. Awesome. Army reserves. And after this, we're going to go ahead and develop Prim. Prim is the closest town in Nevada to the California border. With some proper funding, it could become an attraction in its own right. Pretty much. Keep going, guys. We're so close to New Sterling. Keep going, keep going. Draw one looking kind of thick. Or what are you guys at? Right, just, anyways, vault healthcare is nice. Grab some pre-war tools. Very awesome. Are we missing anything here? Oh, tons of infantry armor. That's fine. By the time we're done with this campaign, infantry armor won't matter. I guess it's good to New Sterling. Thank you very much. Oh, no. That was, that was almost. Almost there. There you go. Um, After that one... We'll, mm, Timberline, Klamath... Uh, maybe Arroyo. Yeah, I'll probably do Arroyo next. It's still 110 days, so... There you go. Nice. Ah, Pete's. Good old Pete's. Nice. Well, yep, this war has definitely helped us get out a lot of uh, focuses done that require army XP, so. And we've got them, my friends. We have definitely got them. Who is that? Pickles Colony? I could give them stuff by now. We're okay. Two sons. We'll just take everything for now. Man, I hope. Yeah, well, we probably can't actually make. Hmm. Mexico again. All right. In the reservation. Hinta del Sol is still down there. Well, wait, what? Are we, are we still at war with them? Where were the laws? End of Legion Guerrillas. With the Legion's collapse, guerrilla raids on American forces come to an end onto Chicago. We remember America. In his darkest hour before the election, Granite asks, is there anything left? Anything that still carries America's voice? The president's decision to save Flagstaff demonstrated his faith that the answer was yes. America didn't need nukes. He needed the slaves who deserted in the dark of the night, the followers who spread their teachings in the lands of the Midwest Brotherhood, and the Minutemen who held the line against the Institute. Granite was a flawed man. He made many, many mistakes, but he turned the enclave into a bridge between the old and new world. He brought the United States together. Thanks to him, there will be men and women who wore its flag proudly. At Hoover Dam, at the Second Alamo, and even the Capital Wasteland, men and women know who walked out of and into a history deeper than they knew. The men and women of America, God bless the enclave. Why do they still have this stuff? We're... Oh, they're all, all in the Rio Pact. Interesting, okay. 
Texan commune over there, sort of. Um, there you go. You're going to be the bulwark against these guys. Got an extra group here, just in case, too. Um, yeah, well, let's do that, too. Why not? All right, my reserves. Develop Prim. Thank you very much. And they should be gone. Great. Not too bad. Of course, we'll send some guys to Arroyo next. Uh, we can't afford this. And nope. Because, ooh, do we actually need more war goals against anybody else? What, what, what do we have here? The, f the fiends still. Oh, the fiends. The flipping fiends. Ah, oh, it's great. You're coming down here first. Ooh, actually. Ooh, actually. Eh, yeah, it's fine. Share the wealth. And by wealth, I mean men. There you go. Nice. Ah, develop him. Very good. Alright, let's go back down here, actually. So can we do this stuff? No. The United States of America, we have to be rebuilding a nation, so we can't do any of this stuff. Okay, I wanted to make sure of that. Mm, launch the war, President Hayes. We'll do all this stuff later on. Constitution of Nevada. Nevada has had a unique opportunity to act as a blank slate for the waste. We'll build upon the best of American ideas, or America's ideas, and incorporate lessons from the last 200 years. We will never be as big as California, but watch us be far more successful. I don't know about that. California's technically under us now, so... Yeah, I don't know about that, man. Alright, keep going, 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 going. Loads and loads and loads of stuff. Um, I'll probably just throw on infrastructure on literally everything else here. Uh, so... You ever had a campaign where Nevada is America? Basically. Cool. Keep building. Keep building. That's why I don't mind losing consumer goods. I really don't mind losing them. Cool. Just go on in. You'll be fine. More than fine. Construction speed's fine. Yeah, actually, we maybe, should, maybe shouldn't do more construction speed right now. But look at that. And they're dead. We've only killed 3,000 of them. 4,000 of them. But you know what? They had it coming to them. Now come to Arroyo. Nice. Uh... Cool. All right, so let's talk about this. I'm I'm sick of this 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 whole discussion here. So I did ask you guys whether we should like reject ghouls or not. Um, I've I've looked at my other videos of me doing this this mod on Claverborn. I've done segregation four times, full segregation all the way. I've done expand the definition of human and complete it went all the way with accepting ghouls and super mutants twice. At least from what I saw from the videos I've done in the past, I've never done the Nevada path, and have never done. Uh, reject ghouls and reject super mutants and the same campaign. I don't I don't think I've ever done a campaign where I've accepted or you know wastelanders and rejected ghouls and super mutants. I don't think I've ever done a campaign. I could be wrong. I could be very wrong, but I want to try something different here. And besides, and people who accuse me of not listening to everyone's voices and uh, only like listening to a few select voices, uh, the last video I did, I looked. There's two comments. One saying we should accept mutants. And ghouls, and one saying we should accept either one. I went with the one that had more upvotes. So don't ever tell me that I don't ever listen to comments. I I listen to comments almost. I would say 95% of the time. 95% of the time. So I just I'm doing what you guys recommended. So I'm sorry that you don't like the path we've chosen, but I'm going with what the majority wants. 95% of the time. So it is what it is. Anyways, uh, improve lending and free side. The bright lights of the strip may seem the soul of Vegas, but we know the real treasure resides in the dreams of free side citizens. By extending loans using the funds we have from the control of Nevada's mines, we can make Vegas boom. Oh, more population, nice. Cool. And then we'll do Battle Borum. Nevada was once a lawless frontier where people were prey to tribals, raiders, and petty tyrants in every town. But by taking the resources of the enclave remnants and forging the state of Nevada, Grant has achieved more than anyone dreamed dream possible, turning it into a model of peace, order, and good governance. Once more, Battle Borum. Very cool. And, oh, more organization. We got 10% more division, uh, or population recruitable factor, recruitable population factor. And we're gonna lose it, but it's fine with me. Totally, totally okay. Uh, you guys go there, go there, go there. For now, uh, we. How much are we? Hmm. We're just flying on a royal, which takes like, another like two weeks, and then we can go to war. These guys. Oh, mm, ninety days. That's not too bad. Okay, pre-war tools. Why not? Uh, more resource efficiency gain. 
Is there anyone else who could help lower just five Wargo's times at this point? We could probably choose someone like that. Send volunteers attention to the limit. I mean, eh. I would have liked to reform more of, of, of like, Mexico, but I guess that might not happen this campaign. Uh, Navarro veterans, actually, I'd probably go with that one. Could we get better just five Wargo's times? We're going to need more intellectual support, though. There we go, that's nice. Let's go ahead and go in. Yeah, because I remember from... Uh, my, my memory's going, but, like, for this one, this side of five votes, this other side of three votes. So I'd go with, with, with usually whichever side is more. But, Battleborn. Battleborn. After Battleborn, the economic miracle. Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. House might have promised an economic boom, but a city-state was dependent on Californian gambling and prostitution. Now it has been tied to the rest of Nevada. Vegas' economy is booming. The lights of the strip are not just from casinos, but now come from factories and workshops from where everyone wins. Good. Good, good, good. Yeah, that's not bad. Arms workshops. We lose some political power. That's alright. Consumer goods factors go down. More daily cap income. That's okay. Um, yeah, everything is Nevada. Don't you want to live in a world where everything is Nevada? No. That's very hot. That'd be very hot. Alright, you guys can do that. You guys can go there. Ah, oh, the chosen one's trial. I remember that. We were in factories. If you want to build that, please go ahead. Pizza's back on the menu. Very cool. Very nice. That happens every campaign. And we'll read about the chosen one's trial. Uh, that's good. Cool. The chosen one's trial was never in doubt. Even if Grant had suspicions about the Enclave's experiments on the oil rig at Navarro, too many members of the Enclave blamed the chosen one for deaths of friends and family, and propaganda blamed the chosen one for stopping the Enclave's medical assistance to the Royals' tribals. And so, the chosen one was found guilty of supporting slavers in the den, of killing miners in Broken Hills, of smuggling liquor into the Vault City, of aiding cultists in San Francisco, and of course, of treason against the U.S. government. The only question was their fate. Firing squad? That seems a bit ruthless. A show of compassion, life in solitary confinement, send mom to a maximum security prison in a minimal security escort. This is literally the least you can do for your mother. I would always choose this one when I play as ruthless one. I'd probably do this one when we're being compassionate. Send mom to a maximum security prison in a minimal security escort. You know what? That seems like something I'd never choose, so let's choose that one. Let's choose that one, because why not? Cool. Alright. Actually, what are, what are on our divisions? These Enclave Auxiliaries. Yeah, Dynamite's okay. Mm, we need to get some fire teams. Anti-tank. We need to get some doggos, too. That'd be kind of nice. That'd be pretty darn nice. So, what else do we have here? Yeah. Can we get any more... Volunteers? Well, I mean, it, it looks like Super Mutants, but Enclave members only... Hmm. Then we don't really change this one. Uh, peace Wait, we can't go to peacekeeping. We can go up to this. That is a lot more population. Battleborn's nice. Economic miracle. Thank you. All right, just there you go. Uh, you know what? Screw it. I should have not done that one. I'm done making new divisions. We don't need any more new ones. No more new boys. Cool. Yeah. Twenties. God, I wish we could convert all these guys to forties, but we cannot. Three more, maybe? Nope. Can you at least get one more? Nope. God dang it, that sucks. That really just sucks. Hi. Composites are nice. Eh, at this point, we don't really know time. You know, time going. So after that one, uh, I want to wait for. This. I just want to wait for longer for that one because everything else though is done almost. Repairing Helios one though. The brother of Steel thought that this old solar power plant was a weapon, but actually it was some proper maintenance. It's the dawn of a new golden age, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Cool. And how much longer must we wait for this one? Because I think in the next episode we're gonna we're, obviously this episode we're gonna try to finish up here. We'll finish up a lot of this area too. And then this area, and then a whole lot of this. Oklahoma's from too, which is kind of nice, but yeah, whatever. Go on, stop training for now. Get ready to go. There we go. They immediately attack us, we attack them. Go in, boys. Unreasonable demand. Nope, don't really care right now what's going on with them. Alright, you guys just kind of hang out here too. Okay, never mind, let's go in. Let's go in. Over on them. Okay, so they have up to 72 divisions. Not bad, the lights are going on. It's me, Mr. New Vegas. That was. When the Lights Go On Again by Vera Lynn. 
And speaking of the lights going on, the Nevada Reconstruction Authority is reporting <clears throat> uh, that Prim has been connected to the electrical grid for the first time in 200 years. And while I know you're concerned about some of the changes to the Mojave, the changes to my programming, or like them, they're only going to only to better serve you, that my beautiful fans. Signing off, it's me, Mr. New Vegas, reminding you that you're nobody till somebody loves you, and that somebody's the Enclave, the Enclave loves you. Mr. Vegas, play the American Saturday Night by Braid Paisley. Uh, Mr. New Vegas, play... Always remember us in this way by Stefani Germanata. Oh yeah, wait, sophisticated construction tech. Wait, hold on. Sophisticated construction. Well, we already have that, so. Okay, well, not bad. Not bad. Pretty good. That's pretty nice. And I'll probably pair drop into these guys too. That's definitely who we're going to pair drop into. Uh, how much? How many days for Klamath? How many days? Oh, that's a long booty time. Ooh, just for Ooh, that's even better. That's even better to do. Uh, you know what? We're gonna go back with political indoctrination. Why? Because we need that. Day I want to keep the intellectual reformer faction going. The wastelanders not too bad. The people, no one. I don't want the elites. So we're gonna go back here. But at the same time, I'm gonna get Lynette because that minus twenty-five percent is gonna be really helpful. Plus point one five. Plus point one. Anyone else here for other stuff? I don't think so. Uh, interventionist, da da da. Entrenchment speed, da da da. You have a designer, da da da. Like that one. So you Gilbert, that's fine, that's fine. Close air support, yeah, 5% is really good. And for this one, artillery. Sure, why not? We're using lots of dynamite anyway, so. There you go. Cool. Bear Hoover Dam. We're propaganda. Support Nevada. Sure, why not? We still need this stuff too. Loot the Sierra Madre. Sure, why not? Capture the Warm Persian from the lens. Great. ENC Epilogue. Nice. Oh, we can't do that one because we're technically doing the one we're currently doing right now. Uh, do that one too. Ooh. Royal implants for infantry. Give implants. Wait. Oh, we don't have enough army speed for the rest of that stuff. Oh! Wow. That was ridiculously easy. Wowzers. Wowzers and bowsers. Screw it. Breach facility. Aviation tech. Looks like Gear 51 and the Groom Lake facility were testing grounds for an aircraft during the Great War. Some of the designs we found in the system are unbelievable and frankly surpass what we thought the U.S. Air Force could do. Unfortunately, given the total collapse of society, we can't manufacture most of these plans, but there are still some good ideas. Nice. You guys have none of that, so I want all you guys to do this. Little green man, very nice. And they'll have you guys doing what? Custom built capacitors, nice. There you go, do that because you can. Um, I might just send you guys to go here. I will focus on Colorado a whole bunch. You guys are gonna go over here as well. Do that. You guys come over here as well. Pre-war housing is nice. Yeah, at this point, it doesn't really matter about technology and time. Jeff fires because he can, because why not? Why not, right? Um, I don't want to release California yet. I really don't. I really just do not. Because I like having this much strength right now. Hmm, brick housing. Hmm. We can always see what happens when we do President Hayes. Well, we can do that one first, I guess. Thanks for support President Hayes and the old world party's been swept into office. Pretty nice, pretty nice. The bad needs more strength, though. Oh, uh, well, actually, actually, it might be, mm, it might be better if we actually release California first, and then let them do that, so this way they're our puppet guaranteed, give militia implants, it's kind of weird, but okay, roll out implants for infantry, yes, so now we're going to need some implants, right, nice, we're going to need a lot of implants, wow, how many implants can we make a day, kill switches, nice, uh, grab some of this, Less factory output, but more recovery rate. Awesome. How many implants are we making a day? Well, we need 36,000. That's quite a bit. Not gonna lie, that's, that's quite a bit. Good, good, good. Because we're gonna lose a lot of factories and manpower by releasing California. It's alright, though. Hmm. 
Victory of the Ballot Box. For all the NCR's many flaws, it was the only true democracy in the waste, the nation that aspires to be the best of pre-war America. Mayor Hayes recognized its flaws and the promise for something better. By working with him and his party, we persuade the people of California to look to the past for a better world. We may never rule California, but the first 7200 years, its leaders think of themselves as America. Uh, a new ally, complete our new ally, yeah, hmm. NCR Republic. You know what, just in case. Ooh. Well, we can always, I can always reload the save. Let's see what happens. You know, I'm gonna read some first. At least him as a puppet. We're gonna lose like 300 factories, maybe. 400, maybe. Oh, not that much, actually. So we did that, and actually, you know what? I want this part of Nevada back. Is this not part of Nevada? I got a really cool air flag. Yeah, give us this back. Southern Nevada. North Mojave. Uh, I'll, I'll try my best with the whole uh, things here. Assault police force. Well, I guess technically we can do this one. To be fair, but still. Shouldn't need it up. But whatever. All right. Our new ally, the New California Republic. Are they still a puppet of us? Yes, they are. It's Enclave Influence Region, so I'm not exactly sure. Let's see. Do they have a, they sell their own unique folk, their own unique focus, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Mojave Territories, Brotherhood. So now they're our, basically our puppet, hopefully. So we really can't do too much. We didn't lose that much, actually, at all. We lost 120,000 manpower, which is fine. Um, I hope that we can give this to the NCR, because this looks really bad. I might just have to court so they don't release them, but we'll see what happens. Uh, what do you guys at? Okay, they changed colors. Uh, what? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why did they release themselves? Hold on. Let me. I need to go experiment with this, because they just, they're not a puppet anymore. Why are they not a puppet? Well, let me double check this. All right, everyone. So now we've kind of gone back, or I guess maybe ahead of time, and I have not released the NCR this time because every time I did so, um, they would always just break free of a rule. So we'll release them at the very end of the campaign. But free trade. Although the NCR lacks the advanced technology of the Enclave, they possess ample natural resources and foodstuffs. If we trade with them, we'll free our economy to focus on high technology. And got about a week left for that because right now we can go to war with Klamath. And are we justifying on anybody else? No, we're not, which is kind of a mistake. That's a huge mistake. Huge, huge, huge mistake. There you go. 115 days is a bit too much for me personally, but that's okay. Just go on in. Uh, that's, yeah, it's not going to be that, that bad. Yeah, that thousand, not bad. Pretty good. Unfortunate. The American economy. President Hayes and Grant have agreed to lower trade barriers between Nevada and California, a major step towards restoring the American economy. But Hayes, an American nationalist, has proposed that Nevada adopt the NCR dollar. Although, in theory, this will bind our economies closer together, a Nevada dollar, backed by technology and Nevada's mineral reserves, will be worth substantially more. Nevada stands on its own. We're stronger together. We're going to go on our own just because uh, they don't exist yet. So, By adopting a currency for California Nevada, we will bind America closer together, which I'd like to do, but I don't want to lose any more consumer goods right now. Actually, maybe we do. But then again, the NCR doesn't exist, and they get liberty every time, so this is kind of bugged or something like that. But promote the Nevada dollar. The only thing we'll use dollars with Tandy for is to wipe our booty. And then the Benjamin Franklin Society with trade flourishing between Nevada and California. Or just Nevada, period. It's time to take time to deepen take time to take deep in our alliance hmm california's best and brightest will learn from the enclave and maybe the waste centers will have a few tricks we could use too sounds good to us sounds real bueno as we just demolish climate here just straight up eight thousand losses that is not enough cool all right so let's do that let time go on for now that all this stuff really doesn't matter we still got 1200 factories that's so good so good so good um anything else really here i mean not really too much uh, we could do this probably, and probably just kill them off this way. I'd love to kill off these guys immediately, but we'll see what happens. Rats. 135 days. It's best to wait for uh, this one, which we have our guys here already. But let's go and read the next focus while we're waiting. So, with, oh, we're almost done there too. Nice. American League Baseball rebuild the Pacific Northwest. We probably could. Our plane bombers, that's fine. Rebuild the Pacific Commonwealth. Before the Great War, Seattle and Portland were gleaming cities of the American Northwest. Now the region is given over to super mutants, raiders, and brotherhood knights led by a ghoul? I guess, anyway, we can rally American patriots in the region and create a new member of the Associated States of America. Oh, and they can join us. Out of one many? 
Uh, the triumph of democracy in New California seems to suggest that Grant asked Hayes if he'll agree to California's annexation by Nevada, and suggested that the two were working together from the U.S. of A. In this scenario, the more populous state of New California would surrender control of its military and economy to New Reno voluntarily, but Hayes would be granted a position of power or governors of a new state. Or Grant could stick to the original plan, which is to be lead a league of independent but allied states together in some sort of American Union. Well, I mean, ask Hayes to be annexed by us? Well, technically we've already, if you will, formed the United States of America. Hmm... Uh, Oh, that doesn't go with what we want to do. Recognize that rebuilding America will work through best work best through gradual incremental changes over time. And that all guns should be pointed at Flagstaff. I mean, it doesn't. He's not alive, so he's. And I've actually technically I've already tried this off screen. He says no. At least last time I tried. So, um. Hmm. You know, what, let me save it. I want to see. I want to see if we can do anything here. Let's let's try. It. Let's ask him. Hayes responds, Mr. President, Hayes has regretfully expressed that while he's committed to the American dream, his constituents do not elect him president to hand control of California over a two-year-old government based out of New Reno. He is, however, firmly committed to working with us to promote free trade, free travel, and human rights. How rude. Eh, whatever. It's all right. And then taking down the Brotherhood? Although their powered armor makes these guys a threat, whatever happens, we've got a bird of birds, and they've not. We have got, comma, bird of birds, and they have not. Irrigation system? Oh, that'd be actually really good. Grants the fruits of irrigation to everyone in a faction with Nevada. One of the original purposes of Hoover Dam was to irrigate the West. Time to fulfill that dream. All right, not bad. Um, actually, we could probably go to this. Oh, yeah, lifetime pensions might be really good. Yeah, more special forces cap. I like that a lot. Because uh, we do this one, this is really bad. So let's try this one. Why not? We'll try it. Can we actually do anything else here? We've hidden... We're still in hidden economy. Huh. Justify World War go on us goes up by a whole bunch. Wow. Monoplane fighters, nice. And grab some of them recon planes too, because we can. I don't care about that stuff. My other tribe has been fully decrypted. Um, we still need to get a lot more implants. And it's going to probably take maybe two more episodes after this. Because the next episode, uh, between this episode and the next, I'm going to be justifying on a lot of people. My goal is that Texas will hopefully unite with the Washington, Washington, the Texan Brotherhood. We'll take out Oklahoma, of course. But we'll see what happens. Conference of Klamath. <clears throat> The spores of the dream are reviving. The Pacific Commonwealth have slinked to the tradition of, of trading town of Klamath. Far from the war and the Brotherhood, its leaders have agreed to sponsor our plan to liberate the region from tyranny and bring them into the Associated States of America. The only question is whether we can persuade anyone else to join them. Bellingham seeks protection from the broken coast. Klamath Falls welcomes you. Nice. Well, Pacific Commonwealth. Okay, so now we have one state here, Slim Pickett. Now, they're our ally, they're not a puppet, but even when we tried to do the NCR stuff, like, they weren't even our ally. So, I mean, we will give, you know what? Allied States of America is not bad. We're going to release everyone else after we're done, like I said before. I don't see a point of just releasing everybody now. Um, the bonuses we have right now, the strength that we have, turn territories. Oh, we can invite in Oklahoma. Uh, I want to wait. I want to take out everybody. I literally want to take out everybody first. Every Marlock tribe. Oh, wait, we get it. Oh. Okay, reconstruct the specific commonwealth. The den, doors climb up, and one other becomes owner of the den. Okay, deploy holograms. Oh, the American Rangers, what is this? The Californian Desert Rangers have done great work protecting the peoples of the waste from slavery and raiders. By pooling... Okay, what the heck? By pooling resources, we can create a force to protect people across America. Another beautiful morning in New Vegas, dear listeners, although not as beautiful as you. We've reached reports that the Rangers, aided by a courier passing through, struck at a slaver's camp in the 80s territory overnight. Casualties were minimal for everyone but the Raiders themselves, with reports of explosions lighting up the night after the Rangers departed with the slaves. Ranger Boone has commented that the Raiders are warning to all slavers that a shot from his Gauss rifle would be the last thing they'd ever see. Slavery, folks. Bad for the soul in your life expectancy. We're making the world a better place. Nice. Oh, with that person there. Actually, we get another... Oh, that's not too bad. Yes, please. Why not? People are really trying to figure us out. That's not good. And we do have a cup of coffee or two for the last few minutes of this episode, too. All right, not bad, not bad. Irrigation systems. Get the first one done, which is very, very nice. Uh, what else do we have down here? Taking down the Brotherhood, because we can. Even though it should auto-bypass, but whatever. Um, Just kill these guys off. I don't care. You guys honestly should be able to do okay here. This is looking really just god awful. It's because of all the implants, man. It's all because of the implants. It's fine. These are the ones I don't really care about too much. Yeah, the, the power arm should do more than fine here. Should. Doesn't mean they will, but. Go expert health fighter. Let's see what we can do. Same thing with you guys, too. 
we go to search just find these guys because 115 days is way too long, but whatever. You guys should do more than fine here. Can you not? Oh, we can't even pierce them. That's interesting. All right, we'll force the attack then. Then we actually get the numbers going up a little bit more, maybe. Oh, they're doing for they're doing force defense. Look at that. They're literally doing force defense. Oh, they were. They were for a while. They were literally doing force defense. That's interesting. Uh, it's interesting to see, my friends. Force them to die. Force them to die. And I just want you guys to hold. How many more? Actually, that's a lot better. It used to be like 65,000, so. Looking a lot better than it was earlier. And now it's a glitch. God dang it. Hmm. Hmm. For vehicles? Sure, why not? I mean, my goal is, like I said, like just we're going to resurrect everybody once we're done here. And make nice borders. Nice, nice borders. Crow lens are good. And they're done. Cool. Could give it to Ryle, but I think we'll save that for next time. So I think off screen, I'm just going to go ahead and prepare us for. Um, how are you guys going to go to? Can you guys not win here? Prepare us to just go to war with everybody. What are you missing? Besides just the plants, cybernetic plants. Stimulants? That's fine too. Uh, can you not go in? What's wrong with y'all? Yeah, seriously, like, it looks really bad, but it's really not that bad, actually, so. Alright, well, whatever. Um, the state of Utah. To the east, New Canaan is a nucleus for the Mormons of Utah. But they're back and they can stand against Kaiser and bring freedom to the waste. Yeah, I'm not sure why they didn't think they could do so well, but okay. And freedom to the east. And we'll also do a trade with Mexico. Uh, no, let's wait. Let's do the true enemy. The NCR stands for many of our ideals, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The legions led by despot who must learn Americans will never be slaves, and the Southwest Commonwealth. The defeat of Kaiser has left us overextended across the Southwest. It's time to create a new Commonwealth under the leadership of the Allied States of America. But if you enjoyed the video, or didn't, so just leave a like for me. Subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you tomorrow when we'll finish off the Pacific Northwest, Colorado, and sort of the Western area here, and start focusing more on Texas and Mexico. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.